you're the type that pours the milk first then the cereal, you're a psychopath. Because the right way to do it is the cereal first. Because here's the logic. How do you know how much milk you're gonna need if you don't put the cereal in first? Make sense? Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna actually have my breakfast and then I'll speak to you guys. Hi guys, I'm currently in the design school of me list of the things that I need to do so I need to just like and take them right now um I need to schedule like consultation with my lecturers because I'm leaving next week so I have to do everything in advance so that I can get enough um feedback to do my work over the holiday and make sure I get things done the right way to get the grades that I want so yeah I will see you guys I guess during lunch or like doing dinner but yeah, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. But then I end up having to like go on frequent like grocery run because I keep not buying enough hand stuff. But anyways, I got some chips because I'm studying with my friend later so I can show it. And then I got noodles, I got some baby chips, some rice noodles for like noodles. I'm gonna stick to like eating yeah, noodles the whole week. Anyways, um vinegar because I want to make like the really good vinegar chili oil like middle sauce and dumplings it's a very Asian dish but it's so good I promise you um, and I'm gonna make my lunch real quick and then stuff stuffing again because I have so much so I'll catch you then I have packed everything away like my stuff so Let's get this right. I've never tried this like flavor before. It's the hot sour cream flavor. So taste test. Not sure how good this is. Hmm, that's how it stuns when I'm different from like the normal sour cream. spicy at all but it's good I guess mm. anyway I should do that my color for it today because I'm flying with students and then you have a presentation next week that I'm not gonna be able to attend because I'll be in Australia already mm -hmm. but anyways yeah I need to get my part done so that I can dedicate my part of this of the speech to someone else to do and then hopefully I'll be able to not have to touch my work at least for like the F1 week so yeah mm. yeah oh mm. like waiting for my pot to like work because I am emotional and I have very smartly also added like the dumplings yeah I've also added the dumplings in like the boiling water so that I can cook it both at the same time um, but yeah anyways I'm gonna have lunch first and I'll check back with you guys later 
Good morning, everyone. It's T minus one day till we fly to Australia. <clears throat> um. Anyways, I'm gonna start doing my laundry first so that I can pack the clothes that I want to Australia. And then later on, while well, that's um, being washed, I might start packing like essentials. Just so I know what time, um, what else I still need, I'm still lacking off, so I can go and get them. Yeah, they close at 6 um, p.m. So I have to get my things before then. And in order to get my things before then, I need to know what else I'm lacking off. So anyways, I'm going to start splitting my um, laundry up. And then I'll catch you guys later. I've just gotten my laundry down to the laundry area, of course. And then now I think I'll pack like my toiletries first um mainly because i'm really like picky about that. my conditioners and stuff so i think i might bring like a small bottle of my own shampoos and stuff so hold on. let me go and get my like pouches hold on i have these two different bags i think i'm gonna put like my mini shampoos in the ysl one and then i'm gonna put um, like my hygiene necessities, like toothpaste, toothbrush, face wash, like one routine stuff and night routine stuff in here, and then, um, yeah, showering things here. So, I guess I'll pack. Technically, I already have some like mini shampoos that I got from my previous trip to like Spain and Portugal. Um, it's this Loxetine like shampoo and body wash um this shower oil is so good oh my gosh i am obsessed with it it keeps your skin so moisturized if you're in a cold country and like showering dries your skin out that is such a good option to work with um yeah anyways i'll keep those i might just bring the whole thing um we'll see i'll leave this like out first probably here and then I'm gonna just put a bunch of other things that I need in here as well. Of course, I'm gonna bring the Merome. It's a Korean brand. I'm gonna bring this and this one. Because as you know, I like these two combinations together. So I am going to bring these. Okay, so toiletries done. And then I'm gonna put like me makeup stuff here. um like my makeup remover makeup cleanser things like that okay next i'm gonna pack my like morning and night routine stuff skincare i like to bring mini skincares when i'm traveling because once i'm done with them i can just get rid of it um i make a remover these will go in like my big checked in luggage because i have smaller like skincare that I'll bring to the, onto the plane um but yeah these are not gonna pass their 100 millimeters some of these can these could but the polish one you can think but the polish choice definitely not so yeah and this these are like my holy grail skincare so can't live without them hmm yeah I think that's about it. Okay, anyways, um, makeup patch is done. I am going to put toothbrush in this box and I don't have a smaller toothbrush, but you know what? I think the plane does provide some toothbrush because the last time I traveled, they did for a long haul flight. So it should be fine, I hope. But yeah. you know what, just in case, I might bring this mouthwash onto the flight. Just in case I don't have a toothbrush, it's like at least I can do mouthwash. I don't know, but anyways, yeah. I'm gonna pack these up and then come back to you guys again. Um, okay guys, slight delay on the like packing situation. I was, I had a plan basically to like pack, to spend the whole day like packing. And then I ended up talking to my friend that I was actually gonna meet like real soon already. Um, yeah, but we talked for like I think quite a few hours. 
and then now it's already like five so the plan is to hopefully get everything packed before dinner and then yeah so I'm, I'm gonna like grab my big luggage out and then stop packing right now and like organize what I need so anyways I will um, let me figure out where to put you guys to like film the packing thing but yeah be right back I've successfully brought the luggage out from this heavy bed I still have like my clothes laid out because I put them in the washer but it's not dried yet so I'm letting them like air dry but anyways let's first tackle the big bags where I'll put all my clothes and like food or anything any, any like souvenirs that I want to bring for all my friends so let's crack this open up first and then we'll go from there the aim is to hopefully only need to fill one like side of the luggage so that I can leave the other side open for like souvenirs and stuff so yeah let's get to packing okay is this a better place to put you guys? I guess this is the best that we can do but anyways yeah first I'm gonna pack all like my tops and pajamas that I want to bring and then after that we'll move on to um, bottoms and dresses if I'm bringing any so yeah let's get to it okay so for pajamas I have three sets which I think should be enough for the entire trip because A I'm only gonna be here for 10 days and B there's also like a washing machine and dryer in the accommodation the Airbnb that we booked so if I need to wash them, I can technically wash them so I don't have to bring too much um, I think I'm gonna roll my clothes and sit because this is gonna take up too much space like too quick so yeah now that their pajamas are done I am going to start packing my clothes usually what I do is I have like a certain a few outfits in mind already so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump all of them here first and then sort through which are the ones that I actually like want to bring or like are realistic to bring. So yep, that's what I'm gonna do right now. This is what I do. I put them, I put like the cubes in the luggage and then I throw whichever fits this in this category which is tiny tops and then whichever fit this category which is like tank tops and like t-shirts into their respective cubes and then after that i roll them up um i roll some of it and then some of it i fold depending on which works better for the cube because sometimes like you're able to get more space if you were to fold it if you're bringing an extra bag one good tip is to put all your like separated packaging so like this is a package of my hair and like jewelry accessories in this um, ziplock bag. So what I do is I put them in this bag so you save space. This also helps you like keep the shape of the bag if you have a bag that you don't want the shape to be ruined by like compressing it. So yeah, this is one good tip. Um, that's basically what I'm doing right now. All of my separate and then this is another pack of makeup that I don't want to bring on the, um, the carry-on. So putting that in here as well and then um, razors and to if you have like socks or like undergarments you can technically put them in here as well and then you'll be saving some space it's much later now I had a little break to have dinner and um, chill a little bit with my friends because honestly nobody likes packing so I was procrastinating a bit not gonna lie but let me just show you what I've packed already I have here is like their tiny tops and then the um, skirts basically I had space left for after I packed in my t-shirts and tank tops so I added skirt in the same um, unit and then over here we have pajamas and then below I had basically three different pants um, this is the undergarments um, cube and then I am putting my um skincare and any other liquids in this area so i'll be putting there are a few other cubes so i'll be putting them stacking them all around here and then in this bag as you've seen i've put like socks and like the other smaller um 
liquid stuff in there and hair accessories. So there's that. I think I'm gonna wear these um, like Nike shoes. I haven't worn them for a really long time, so my plan is to wear them back to Singapore and then just leave it and leave them there. I will be packing a pair of boots, um, Prada like kitten heels. So these are coming with me. I think they usually sell the whole like cube sets in like in one big set so they usually come with like the shoe bag as well so this is what i'm gonna use and then of course the prada one came with its own shoe bag okay i am so lucky the boots fit just right um so yeah i guess if you have any if you can buy those sh like set that comes with the shoe bag because it comes really handy so i'm gonna put these two in these go into the bag and then after that, I am left with not much to pack anymore, I think. Um, I might bring another extra bag, <laughs> like a fancier bag, <laughs> just for like, just in case I have like fancy dinners that I want to go to and then I can bring the bag. So yeah, I'm gonna finish packing. I probably have no other tips that I'm, I can share anymore. But if I do, I will let you know. But if not, I will see you when I'm done packing. Next is my... Next is my carry-on bag. Basically my necessities. Um, I have already packed all my liquids into the bag. And put them in like stock bags. Because in... Not sure in other places, but in um, UK at least. What they do is they require you to take all your liquids out and put them in a transparent bag. So instead of like doing it there, which would take time, um, I've already put them in the um, transparent like Ziploc bag within each of the different like pouches. So all I have to do is take them out and then um, I will repack them into the bag later on. These are basically like my non-negotiables that I have to have on the plane. So yeah. Laptop and my iPad is still charging, so I'll put that in later. So the laptop is going in. And charging wires. It's such a mess. I will try to sort it out before I put it in. Kept aside some plasters because I cut myself this morning, so I might need some to re put on, re bandage. So these are coming with me my portable um, SD card transfer that's basically it for the carry-on bag I am going to pack my cabin bag now I'm gonna take it up like real quick and then we can start packing that together I'm going to pack my cabin bag right now um, I don't usually bring a cabin bag but the reason why I'm bringing it is because I'm going to both Australia and Singapore so in case I have too many like snacks or stuff that I want to bring, I can put like extra clothes in this bag. So it's just basically extra storage. So there wouldn't be much in this bag right now. I'm gonna bring extra clothes just so I can change um, as soon as I land in Singapore because it's going to be so hot. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get this all folded up and then put them in the bag. Clothes are in the bag right now, and then I'm also gonna bring my bag, uh, my dinner bag, along. So I'm gonna put it in the cabin bag. And next, I'm gonna put my camera in. This, I'm not that um, like worried if it gets crushed because I'll be the one carrying it, so I'll be extra careful on my own. Um, so nothing would probably happen to it. And then next, I'm also gonna bring an umbrella, just in case. Um, we don't know the weather condition there. I heard from my friend that it might be rainy, so I'm gonna put their umbrella in there just in case. And then I'm also going to bring my films along because I want to develop them at some point. So these are coming as well. And oh, belts. I am going to get some belts that I want to bring along with me and put it here. So once again. Okay, these are the two belts that I'm going for. This is like my go-to belt that I always wear. And then this is like a belt that I recently got from Amazon. It's so useful because it has like two sides to it. So you can style it in a much more 
um, you can style it with much more different diversity because that's two options. So, so you have two options um, to style your outfit. So I thought this was really useful. Um, so yeah, these two are coming in the back as well. And then I am also going to bring this leather jacket as my main outerwear to wear because it is starting to get a little bit cold in Australia. So yeah, this is coming with me. Um, and yeah, that's basically about it. And then I entirely forgot to put my contour lens in my bigger luggage. So I am going to do that um, later on. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm so tired from packing, but I am also so excited. Like, oh, I can't believe it. I haven't seen my friend Ashley like face to face in so long. So I'm really excited for that. And then yeah, and we're also going to the Australia Grand Prix together. So that is exciting. So yeah, I am probably gonna end the vlog here because I'm probably not gonna do much anymore. Oh, I'm just gonna put on like Netflix, maybe watch some friends, and then do some like of the wristband thing at the side. And yeah, that's about it. I will see you. Well, in real time it's tomorrow, but in vlog time it's next week. So I'll see you next week. <laughs>